Ah, oh, Tony, glad you could make it. I thought you'd be too busy. Never too busy for you, Gordon. <laughs> so, how's it all going? What do you mean, how's it going? You know damn well how it's going. Well, I read the papers, obviously, when I get a moment. Read them? Write half of them. Well, not you, Cherie, and that arse Prescott. What is it with these people? Less than a year since you've left, and they're writing books like there's no tomorrow. Well, it might not be for you. Well, how do you mean? Well, wait till you see my book. What? <laughs> Only joking. I wish I could believe you. Wouldn't be the first time you'd lied to me in a restaurant. I'm sorry, Gordon. I've absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Oh, you know, that deal we made. What, that you get first dibs on the waitress? No, that you get first dibs on being Labour leader. Oh, yeah. I remember it now. I'd have it for 13 years. Nine. No, 13? Look it up on Wikipedia. 2007 minus 1994 equals 13. Oh, oh so you lied to me that night. No, look, Cherise made it perfectly clear in the book, I didn't lie to you that night. It was the week before. Right, well, happy anniversary. Oh, excuse me. Do you mind? Uh, it's quite important. And this isn't? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I think about 50 grand's in the right ballpark. Yeah, well, more if you want her to. <laughs> but you'll need to talk to her publicist, cos she's got a lot on, you know, with the book tour and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is quite funny, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, actually, um, he's, w he's with me now. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to ask him yourself. Uh, not very, no. And, and if they could send a plane, that would be even better. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, i, I got to go. So, uh, what will you have? Well, I'll have the uh, beluga caviar, for starter, then the uh, wagyu beef on a bed of truffles, and the lobster with a solid gold bowler hat and a pterodactyl leg on top. How about you? I'll have the potato. <laughs> what about wine? Are you paying for me? Every day. Right, I'll have a couple of bottles of the 1787 Chateau Lafitte. What are you drinking? Tap. <laughs> obviously, I'm not going to be doing this job forever. Oh, obviously. <laughs> Sorry, th that wasn't meant to be funny. Uh, but I have to think about who's going to take over, uh, and I was wondering uh, how, how, how you... How you, how you feel about, um... Well, come on, Gordon, you're surrounded by talented people, any one of whom could do the job. Name one. Yeah, actually, I see your point. <laughs> Which makes me think that, that, that you might, um... What? Oh, come on, Tony, don't make me beg. But you're not serious. What, me? Take over from you? That's ridiculous. Well, why not? Well, you couldn't afford me, for one. And Cherie wouldn't let me near a job that didn't have at least six noughts at the end of it. Besides, if we ever took over now, we'd inherit a situation where we're way down in the polls, the party's restless and in a panic, the economy's about to implode, and there's only two years left before the election. And they just look ridiculous. Why do you think I asked you? <laughs> no, look, I'm sorry, history's not going to repeat itself. I'm not going to enter into some private little deal to take on the leadership, only to have you over my shoulder. I'd never do that. Look what happened the last time. But it's all right for you. You were lucky. You got out just in time. Uh, what do you mean, lucky? You didn't think that was an accident, did you? I'm not stupid. So the least you can do is give me some advice. Oh, look, come on, I have been advising you. Who was it who said you should put off an early election, press ahead with a 10p tax thing, stand firm on 42 days? Oh, yes, all of which makes it pretty certain I'll lose the next election. I didn't say it was good advice. <laughs> Besides, you're not the only person who's approached me. Berlusconi? Maybe. Sarkozy? Huh? <laughs> not Robert Mugabe. Oh, come on, go with no limits. <laughs> How do you? Cherie wanted me to take it on. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I'm really kidding. Well, that's it. It's all just one big joke to you. Well, if that's your attitude, there's no point in going on. OK, fair enough. That's it, then. See you at the book launch. No, you won't. Waiter. Money's there.